All right, so in this video, we're going to continue working on this radial survey. And so far, we've got some points in here, and we've created a surface. The next couple things to do are to go ahead and smooth the surface, make these contour lines look more natural, and then add some contour labels. So to do that, uh, we've got this figure 819 drawing open that we've been working on. I'm going to come over here into tool space on my prospector tab, find my surfaces, expand out surfaces, expand out surface F819, expand out definition, and under definition, there's a category called edits. Go ahead and right click on edits and choose smooth surface. That brings up this dialog box. I'm using natural neighbor interpolation as my method for smoothing. I'm going to use a grid based output. On the select output region, I'm just going to click in that cell where it's got zero. When I do that, this ellipsis comes up. I'll go ahead and click on that ellipsis. It takes me out here to Civil 3D where it says select a region. And I'm going to click on surface down here in the command line. And then that just changed this from a zero to a one, indicating that I'm, I'm going to smooth the entire surface. And now I'm going to uh, enter in a grid, grid X and grid Y spacing. So this is just kind of trial and error. I've messed around with this already. I'm just going to do a 10 for both of those. And when I do a 10, you'll notice the number of output points. It's 3,073. Probably want to keep this number for our CAD systems. Keep it under 10,000, and it's probably going to work better. Uh, this is enough for this little surface. So what this is doing is Civil 3D is taking the point data that I've already inputted in there, and it's using a best guess method on adding points. So it's adding 3,000 points in there to help better define the surface. It doesn't actually create the points. It's not adding them in there. The only place you're going to see this is under the edits category. So when we go ahead and hit OK, you'll notice how these are much more smooth contour lines now, and they look more natural. Uh, you'll also notice there's been a change to these boundaries. And so in the next video, we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to work with those boundaries to straighten those out again. So that's all there is to smoothing the surface. So then next is our contour labels. So just like all labels in AutoCAD Civil 3D, they're on the annotate tab. Click on add labels. We're going to add labels to this surface. So I'm going to click on add surface label. My little dialog box comes up here. I'm going to add a contour and I'm just going to add single contour labels. And the only one of these contour label styles I need to concern myself with is existing contours because we don't label minor contours. So I'm going to click here in, in major contour label style. And I'm going to do existing major labels. And I'm just going to make a copy of that. I'm going to take off the copy and put at the end of it hyphen SATC. Click on the layout tab. Over here, I'm going to change my text height to be an eighth of an inch. And then I'll click in contents here for the surface elevation. Click in contents, you get this little ellipsis. Click on that ellipsis. And then just like all labels in AutoCAD Civil 3D, you click on the text on the right, and then that's going to change the information here on the left. So currently, the information on the left matches this information on the right. So I'm going to make a little change here to the precision. I just want this to be shown to the nearest foot. So I'm going to change that to a 1, and then I'll push it over. You'll see this text on the right change. Go ahead and hit OK. Hit OK again. And then we're ready to add some labels. So go ahead and click on Add. Just going to move this box out of the way. Get in here. So you can tell the difference between your major and your minor contours. These minor contours are kind of a light gray color where these majors are a more of a white color. So I'll just click anywhere on that major contour and it's going to add in a label. So I'll just go through here and in a few different spots add a label on these major contours. And so you're just looking for any of them that are that white color and just left clicking and that's going to add in that label.
And then after you get done adding labels, go ahead and hit escape a couple times. And I'm just going to click on one of these and just hit delete. And those little kind of dashes, that's just where I missed the contour. It didn't get onto the contour itself. So I just took them off. And then you can also click on these labels, click in that center grip, and you can move these around to reposition them. So that's all there is to smoothing the surface and adding contour labels. We'll go ahead and save this. And in the next video, we'll take a look at working with this uh, surface boundary. And we'll take things from there. So as always, thanks for listening. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.